Welcome to the channel, human. Another day and another time to talk about something in relation to the MCU. Quentin Tarantino not too long ago stated that they're, the Marvel characters are bigger than the actors. That actors who play Marvel characters in the context of Marvel Studios, they're not real movie stars. Because the characters they play are larger than life, thus being bigger than them. And Quentin Tarantino is a master writer and director. If you have not seen his films, then I guess you don't like Hollywood because there's no reason that you should be sitting there telling me that you haven't seen anything of Quentin Tarantino's. Robert Downey Jr. was established as an actor before he played Iron Man and then he made some bad decisions in his life. And then he got his shit together. He ended up being Iron Man. And, you know, he did Sherlock Holmes. He tried to do Doolittle, right? So Sherlock Holmes, like the first and the second one, I think, did pretty well at the box office. But outside of that, he's really been Iron Man for the last, like, what, 11 years or so. And um, for him, that's like the peak is Iron Man. He's made so many millions playing the character. And when a lot of humans see Robert Downey Jr., they don't see him as... Robert Downey Jr., they see him as Iron Man, the character that he played. And I love him in Tropic Thunder and all that. Like, Robert Downey Jr. is cool. But Quentin Tarantino does have some points in relation to the stuff he was saying about these Marvel actors and the characters that they play. And I think to dismiss Quentin Tarantino was foolish because he knows what he's talking about. But Robert Downey Jr. stated that, okay, Quentin Tarantino or anyone else that has something negative to say about the MCU, that has something negative to say about Marvel, is a waste of time because it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to do any good. You might as well find something else better to do, essentially. And for the most part, when you give criticism to the MCU, when you give criticism to Marvel, it falls on deaf ears. Like, a lot of humans don't want to listen. They don't want to hear it. You got a lot of Marvel dick writers out there that won't admit that the MCU is flawed, that Marvel is flawed, and they're not always perfect. And a lot of them happen to be critics, and a lot of them happen to be fans as well. And there is something wrong when a person cannot admit to something being wrong because it happens to fall under something that they like, which is why you cannot trust the opinions of most humans because you know that they're biased. So Quentin Tarantino has his opinion, his view, his perspective, and I agree with some of the stuff he was saying in relation to the characters being larger than the actors, but in some cases it is the other way around. But Robert Downey Jr., he is Iron Man. You know, when you look at Chris Evans, he's Captain America, right? Um, now, there are some exceptions, like say like a Scarlett Johansson, a Samuel Jackson, where they have been in so many movies and you know, so many humans love them that they're more than those particular Marvel characters. But a lot of times when these actors play these MCU characters, these Marvel characters, everyone sees them as that no matter what they do after. And what they do after a lot of the times is nowhere near as big as what they did in the MCU. So I think it's important to listen to all sides and everybody has made some good points. And it's just a matter of what you want to listen to. Terrence out.